welcome to this uh, SQL video in this video I will explain what is a candidate key so candidate keys uh, you should uh, try to understand why, what is the candidate key because if you want to understand what what are the normalizations uh, database normalization and what is 1a 2a, 2NA forms all these uh, so before you learn that you need to understand what is a candidate key for a table so candidate key is nothing but the uh, set of keys that are used to uniquely identify the records in a table and another condition is that there should be there should not be a, a proper subset for those uh, set of keys so let us try to understand this uh, example uh, with the example it will be very easy to understand what is a candidate key let us say consider that there is a table called as with th these columns called as c1 c2 c3 these are the columns and these are the records in that particular table now to find out the candidate keys for this particular table what you have to do is you have to uh, first of all find all the uh, set of keys which can be used to uniquely identify the records so over here a c3 uh, c3 can also be used so by looking at this uh, table we can say that a c3 column can be used to identify the records uniquely then c1 and c3 these uh, columns can be also used c1 and c3 because in this record a1 and a3 is there then a1 and a4 is there then a2 and a5 is there that's why we can uniquely identify with the combination of these two say uh, keys similarly c2 and c3 can also be used to identify the records uniquely and this can also be used like all keys then out of this uh, this set what you have to do is you have to find out this particular set which doesn't have the proper subset so over here c3 is the column or the set which doesn't have proper subset so how do you find out the proper subset uh, in this particular set of keys so the proper subset is nothing but uh, for example for this set this is the proper subset because in this set c2 c3 is there and in this set c2 c3 is there that's why this set is said to be uh, called as proper subset of this set so since uh, this is having a proper subset we will ignore that similarly this is also having a super uh, proper subset and that is this set so that's why we will also not consider this as a candidate key similarly we will also ignore this one and finally we will get only this one as the candidate key but in more, uh, some of the cases you may get us uh, two uh, keys as a candidate key and that's the process to find the candidate keys so for any uh, given table you can uh, apply these rules you have to actually find out all the possible combinations of the records that are uh, that can be added in that particular uh, table or the domain and then uh, you have to consider considering that fact you have to like create the sub sets of the keys and from that uh, set of keys you have to find such uh, sets which doesn't have the proper subset i hope you understand the candidate keys RDBMS. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends, if you find this video useful, please hit like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and also visit www.softforce.org for more tutorials and updated videos. Thanks for watching my video.